What's good everybody? This is Generation 71 coming back to you with Let's Play Portal. Last time we ended up figuring out this puzzle right here, which usually takes me like forever to figure out, but I got it because I'm awesome. And now we're going to uh, journey deeper into the abyss of Walt Disney World. No, <laughs> we're journeying into the deeper abyss of Aperture Science. Yeah, and I will say, you know, as much as I hate to say it, we're actually almost done with this game. And yes, more loading time. Oh, my God. You just got to love my computer. My uh, computer is not built for this game. I, I know the graphics card is really, really out. And I will be taking it in soon for a maintenance checkup. So, because I'm pretty sure it needs a whole new thing. <laughs> it needs a new motherboard, new everything, pretty much. So hopefully they'll give it to me, but, you know, you never know. People like that are stingy, be like, oh, well, you did this, or you can't replace this, or blah, 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 blah. That's how they usually go. But let's talk about the game. So, like I said, we are very, very close to the end, and these... I bet you there was something up there, too. I'm almost positive there's something up there. But, yeah, like I was saying, we are getting very, very close to the end. Oh, no! No! Yeah! Damn it. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe we're not getting close to the end. I, I forget that they opened up in a certain sequence. I always thought they opened up like at the same time. But apparently not. So we're just going to bum rush this guy. Yeah, what? What? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Nothing. And we will make you fight your brother. In. Ready? Ready? Fight your brother. Fight your brother. And oh, molest each other. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, we are very, very close to the game. I know that I said that like five times in a row. And it, it's sad because I, I, I like this Let's Play. And then even though I did run out of things to talk about mid-series. But that's okay because there's not much left to say. Even though people were saying I'm so mean to the robots. But these are robots are trying to kill me. Freaking A. Actually... <laughs> okay, wait for it. And that was a glitch if I ever saw one. <laughs> yeah, that's how mean I am to the robots. But we're actually supposed to do something here while they fall in an infinite loop of wisdom. And I believe it's the one with the crane over here. I believe we can get up here. I'm right. I'm always right. Wait. Yeah, wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. I see the payoff. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know that, right? Good people don't end up here. Can you hear me? Okay, I think I broke these guys. I'm not entirely sure what happened, but it looked like they were trying to kill me. So it's kind of scary once I think about it. <laughs> but it I honestly don't know where I am. I don't think I've been up here yet. So this is going to be... In Unless I can open up this door. Can I open up this door? Stupid radio! Get the fuck out of here! Um, yeah, it's telling us to go over here. So we need to get over there somehow. So I'll just go over here real quick. Oh, Freaking portal limitations you make me sad sometimes okay so i'm guessing if we try to climb this they're just gonna fall right yeah i figured as much and nothing is built correctly in this freaking place and they just focus on the main labs and all the maintenance shafts they're just all messed up so for the maintenance people that work in here i'm sorry you have my condolences you work in the worst place ever happened your science <laughs> oh my goodness and you can see this is where they probably work on these can i get rid of these bum rush it no okay it didn't work I tried. I want a ranch. I need to fix the maintenance <laughs> the maintenance ladder. Here we go. Can we do it? Can we fix it? Oh, no. I think we just broke it. My bad. <laughs> I tried. I tried. I really thought, you know, working with the wrench would have worked, but apparently nope. Apparently we could just hold it in a very parallel manner. I don't think I've ever seen anything so parallel before. Hello. Good to see you. Please put me down. Okay, put you down. And then you back. Don't shoot me, jerk. Um, I don't believe there's a rat in here. I thought for the longest time there was. And it took me a while to figure out this um, actual puzzle the first time around. Because like I said, these um, couple of puzzles from, you know, from our breakout to the end, the more unorthodox, the more less linear, if that makes sense. Because you have to really, really think. It didn't have to be like this. Oh, it did. I'm not kidding now. Turn back, or I will kill you. Aw, she's gonna kill me, but we were gonna die anyways. I'm That's going to kill you, and all the cake is gone. Aww. You don't even care, do you? Nope. This is your last chance. 
I miss my cake. But yeah, this button activates this robot, which uh, destroys, uh, and well, not anything, but mainly just window-oriented things. So just make sure you stay out of its way to make it your way through, and we're going to run now. But we are going to need to use this. I need to rearrange this. And you're going to aim for me? No, you're not. Oh, yeah. But I swear, it's like, obviously it makes sense for the regular um, science rooms to be all well-kept. But the fact that they just don't well keep the maintenance shafts, that's that just shows how much people care about the working class. Not those brainiacs you see trying to cure cancer. What the frick? That kills me. Okay, I was about to say. Okay, there we go. And then that breaks the glass. <laughs> and that's a yellow, right? Okay. It is yellow. And here, now it says over here. And again, first time I played through this, uh, it took forever for me to figure it out because I figured you could just probably jump or you need to grab something. But it's actually a lot simpler than that. All we need to do is put a portal here. Actually, yeah, we're going to need to put a portal there. And we're going to need to walk all the way back. Why? Because it's just there's something magical about a long projectile coming towards you. Yeah, so you hone the missile over here to break open the shaft right here. And then we get a cube. It's so magical. And I've tried jumping up here before. It doesn't really work. I'm going to try it again just because I feel in an adventurous mood. No, it doesn't work. Okay, but I tried. <laughs> okay, from here, and then we go ahead and do this. And I would just go ahead and leave the cube. I used to just bring the cube with me wherever I went. But we're actually going to head back there in a second. So don't worry, you won't lose your precious cube. There we go. And then we go over here. Come on. I can't believe this lady can scrouch this way. I, I would probably just be like, oh my god, why are you doing this to me? Where's Virtual? No, okay. <laughs> no Batman references in my LP. But yeah, and now we're going to take the cube with us. Because realistically, the cube does make uh, part of this a lot easier. I'm not sure if you're meant to take the cube with you, but, you know, the cube's my buddy. Sure, it's not the companion cube that everybody's obsessed with these days, but, you know, I have a soft spot for the regular cubes. And we gotta wait for the loading times, loading times, oh yeah, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. And it's still loading, wow, I didn't figure it would load that long. Yeah, my computer's really dying out. It's really going through a tough time. Yeah, ha, ha. there you go, I believed in you. I believed and you prevailed, my buddy. Okay, so here, we're gonna set the portal in there. And we're gonna put the cube over there. Yes. Oh, damn it! <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> ah, it just shows you, you really should pay attention what direction of a hole you're coming out of. <laughs> ah, that could not have sounded more perverted than I said it. That That's just legit. That, 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 that's real talk, yo. Real talk, okay. Cube! No! I wonder if I can get you out of there. No, I probably can't. All right, it's still doable without the cube. It just makes it a hell of a lot harder. Oh, I miss my cube. We had so many plans. We were gonna go to Italy. He was gonna buy me beer at McDonald's. You actually do that in Italy, in case you didn't know. But yeah, this is the part I'm talking about. This part is actually gonna be kind of aggravating because now you have a bunch of robots and you get epic battle music. Battle music of the century. And what we're gonna do is we gotta sneak around and try not to die. Dot, get down here. And it's not that complicated. You just really gotta be strategic about it. If you're fairly strategic about it, you could go through this without getting shot once. But if you play like I usually do and just all rambunctious and run everywhere and be like, I'm Rambo, then yeah, it can get really, really complicated. And that guy just really wanted to die. I didn't even do anything to him. He was just wanted to jump off. Oh, so, there we go. And you die. And how many more do we have left? We have that guy down there. So we're doing fairly good. And we got shot once on here. So like I said, you just gotta really be strategic about it. And it's really not that hard once you get it down. Whoa, whoa. There's the gun. <laughs> that totally tripped me out. It was like Inception. Oh, and here I am. And now you're gonna die. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay. And then we got one more, and I believe it's the one that's behind us. So now we gotta get a good angle on it. 
There we go. Nope, you're funny. You're not gonna shoot me. What the frick do you think? Okay, I'll put you down. Don't be a jerk. Okay, yeah, and it's as simple as that. See? So, like I said, it could be really hard if you're just, like, running through it and trying to do it. I usually, like, kind of hug the walls and try to do it. But if you just, um, angled it strategically. Hmm. I did not know you were there. Well, I knew you were there, but I totally forgot about you. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I got shot once. whoop de doo Die. Damn it. And now you make me fell in the sludge. What the frick? Now I gotta go take a shower. Just took one. I only allowed one shower a month because I'm poor that way. <laughs> no, I'm not that poor yet. <laughs> I'm heading towards that though. Oh shoot, okay. Yeah, and here's just another play of momentum. So if you could just get it decently, then you can go ahead and do what you need to do. Oh. And then you just gotta keep doing it. Go from platform to platform. You could usually do it in one fell swoop if you weren't as retarded as I am. Or if you aren't as retarded as I am, if you, not if you weren't, okay? Oh my god! And then the cube would usually help with this too. Ah! I almost made it too. <laughs> you gotta really, really sprint after that because they drop down and they shoot you. And then if I had the cube there, it would have been easy because I would have been like, my cube, save my life, please. But it refused to save my life. Okay, here we go. So if we could just do this and then do this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna lie, that gets me every single time. I don't blame yeah, you damn right you don't blame me. Freaking try to kill me. I know it's what you're programmed to do, it's your purpose in life, but still. Could you show a little courtesy be like, hey, just so you know, I'm gonna shoot at you. And it's gonna hurt. So, you just fair warning. You know, that would be nice, but no. You just gotta be jerks. But yeah, there, we just go ahead and set up a portal right there where we are, and we just jump down. And hit the port. Aw, freaking missed. No! Oh! Stop it. Freaking physics. I, that's why I hated physics. I never took physics. But I'm pretty sure if I ever took it, it, it would have made me angry. Because I would have been like, no, if I throw a ball, it's supposed to go at this terminal to velocity. Or velocity, damn it. Oh, there we go. Then go ahead and hit that. Hit that. Woohoo! It's like we're freaking Houdini. Um, I don't believe anything there was down there. But my curiosity is getting the better of me. There is... Nothing. Okay, cool. <laughs> ah, that was a, not a waste of time at all whatsoever. Bam. Done. The sun. Mm, where are we? You, you really gotta like the atmosphere of this game, though. Because it goes from, you know, clean cut to kind of rugged. You know, it definitely shows contrasting views of the same overall concept. Yeah, I'm just gonna, getting all philosophical on y'all folks right now. <laughs> but I'm a philosophical type of guy. You that I just overthink things too much. And here, we got more story. I think we came across one of these earlier. I'm not entirely sure. I'm almost positive we did. But, you know, in case you want to know a little bit more about what Aperture Science does with, apparently, nobody. Um, competing with Black Mesa. Uh, good to know. But, <laughs> yeah, if you want to know a little bit more. And what doorway did we come from? I'm going to assume we came from that way. It's easy to get lost in this maze of mazes. Here it shows a little bit of where we've been and where we're going. A little more philosophical thought for y'all. <laughs> really gotta stop saying philosophical. Okay, one more time. Philosophical. One more time. Philosophical. That should be a song. But I'm actually gonna cut it here for now, guys, because this next part is not only pretty much the end of the game, but it's the final boss. So thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to keep doing what you're doing and yeah we'll catch you guys later love y'all oh i should probably pause it <laughs> okay bye <laughs>